Welcome, we are EXARC, the International Network of Experimental Archaeology. I am Matilda Siebrecht, Experimental Archaeologist and member of the EXARC team. My name is Roland Paardenkoper, one of the founders of EXARC and manager of Open Air Museums. So what is Experimental Archaeology? Experimental Archaeology provides us with practical insights into how the objects and buildings that we find in the ground were made and used. We replicate or reenact a situation from the past and then compare the results of this with archaeological information. The range of possible experiments is practically limitless. For example, sewing skins with bone needles, casting bronze daggers, scraping bark with prehistoric flint tools, or building a traditional iron smelting furnace. If it was possible in the past, then you can probably recreate it with experimental archaeology. By making past objects or experiencing past events ourselves, you could say that it's the closest thing we have to a time machine. In order to be a valuable approach, experimental archaeology should always be based on scientific research methods, whether you're firing pots or building a Bronze Age cyst. You must have a solid research question, sufficient experience in the topic, and clear archaeological evidence on which to base your experiment. But just because it needs to stay scientific doesn't mean that you need to be a scientist in order to do it. In fact, thanks to the hands-on methods used in experimental archaeology, it's sometimes easy to forget you're doing scientific work at all. Experience is an important part of experimental archaeology, and so it is often conducted by expert crafters and traditional technology specialists, as well as academic researchers. So why is experimental archaeology so important? Well, several reasons. First, it is not limited to one particular country or culture. In fact, a global perspective is a vital part of all experimental archaeological research. So you could be looking at experimenting with traditional plant processing techniques. Or building a traditional bread oven. Or dyeing wool. or firing trebuchets. Or recreating traditional Egyptian pottery techniques. And still be part of the International Experimental Archaeology Network. Second, it is a very useful tool for public outreach. Such hands-on activities as are associated with experimental archaeology are a perfect way to engage with local communities and communicate archaeological information to the general public. For example, the construction and sailing of a Viking Age style ship like you see here was a fun and a unique way for public to learn about their local history. Thirdly, it is a great way for archaeologists to interact with current societal issues. We can use expertise from minority groups that may not otherwise have a voice in archaeological discourse such as indigenous groups who can share insights into their technological traditions, like the pottery project of Instituto Pequi do Cerrado in Minas Gerais, Brazil. Experimental archaeology itself is also a great way to create social assistance opportunities, like the amazing work of Luke Winter, whose volunteer-focused reconstruction projects involve and motivate children from lower socio-economic backgrounds or who have mental illnesses. So how can you become a part of this amazing archaeological experience? Well, if you have experience, expertise, curiosity, or just a passion for learning about the past, then experimental archaeology might be something for you. There is a lot of information out there to learn more. A lot of people, a lot of available resources. One of the best ways to discover more is by contacting us here at Exarch. We can connect you with projects and exhibitions at archaeological open air museums, to workshops and researchers at universities, and to hundreds of people worldwide working in some way with experimental archaeology. We are increasingly active on social media and share a range of activities and opportunities with our hundreds of members. We also engage in more educational programs and activities, like for example our podcast, The Exarch Show. We hope to hear from you via exarch.net.